Hello everybody, we are back, and welcome. This round is going to be the final round of the first round matchups. This is the first round, there's going to be two rounds, the second round is the actual tournament with four robots competing. Now all the losers from yesterday are going to be fighting, and the winner gets to be in the next round. Three, round two. One, go. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh! And Zion immediately flips Death Blow. Death Blow's already on its head. Complete control. Oh, complete control with a grappling maneuver on Death Blow. Oh, and a ram from complete control. Flip from complete control. Complete control seems to be doing most of the work here. Oh, oh, it's Zion. No, Zion flipped. Deathblow trying its hardest to get some damage points on the flipped over Zion. Oh. Oh! Complete control has complete control over Deathblow. Whoa. Zion's pretty much been killed. In one second, it's going to be done. Oh! Oh, and complete control dislodges him. That means even though... If this was a normal fight, Zion would be dead, but because this is a rumble, he can stay in. Both robots have to be knocked out, and complete control may have just done this. Oh, death blows back up! Death blow survives and saves himself and Zion. Zion getting lifted by complete control. Complete control is just one big lifting grappling device. It's like a mix between Zion and Death Blow, I just noticed. It has a similar top head to Death Blow and a similar grappling system to Zion. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh! And he gets right straight to the wall. Good job. Complete control doing it again. It seems like Death Blow's hammer shots are getting more and more muffled. Well, that's not a good thing for Death Blow. Man, Complete Control's really been dominating this fight. Really been doing his work here. Oh, oh, and another grapple. By complete control. Oh. Complete control. Has complete control of these two robots he's facing. Complete control. Oh. And you can see that complete control's weapon seems to be broken. It's not lifting up as much. I don't think it can lift up at all. But perfect timing because we're about to end it. He still has that top head piece though. Oh, and he's using it like a gun of hammer, bashing the back of Death Blow. Giant cluster of robots in the corner, and that is time. That was interesting. So, control goes to complete control. Aggression goes to Death Blow. Next, now we have style, which goes to complete control strategy complete control damage death blow so the winner and a two to three win complete control anyway let's get to the tournament first fight is let's see what's the first fight again uh oh this can be good here it is hazard versus alabama slamma Let's go. Three, two, one, go. This is going to be an interesting clash. Alabama Slamma versus the fierce, pure power of Hazard Spinner. Oh, there goes a wheel off of Alabama Slamma. Oh, and a little hit shot from Hazard. Another chunk gets taken out of Alabama Slammer. Hazard, the favorite probably to win this entire competition, I'd say. He's slowly ripping apart. He's doing it very quietly, too. That's pretty impressive. 
Oh, and you can see the damage that's being done to Alabama's slam are up co close. You can really see it. To the frame. There's that spitter. No, Alabama Slamma. Don't hide. You can't hide. Oh. That gigantic spinning blade. And I think that's gonna be it. Alabama Slammer has nothing to do left. Oh. Oh. Alabama Slammer's basically been decapitated now. The lifter's gone. It's trying to lift. That's not gonna happen. If you move, then hazard hits you. Simple as that. Well, Alabama Slammer can't move now. Hazard has won and made it to the finals. That was pretty good. Let's get to the next one. Hello, everyone. Let's get it on. Three, two, one. Little Drummer Boy versus Complete Control. Oh! Oh, oh in less than 10 seconds, maybe even less than 5. Complete Control's already been decapitated by the massive Trump Spitter on Little Drummer Boy. Man, this robot. We did, I did not expect to see it doing this well against Complete Control. Complete Control seems to be struggling after some hits to the wheels. Oh! The damage done. He's trying to make sure that little drum boy doesn't get on that lifter and rip it straight off. But I'm sorry, complete control, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, he's gonna try to lift little drummer boy. Oh, and now he's grabbing him from the other side. Little drummer boy trying to defend using that. Try, trying to use his defense against the attacks that complete control are throwing out. Oh, oh. Don't use that lifter near little drummer boy. I warned you. You put it underneath him. That is a health code violation. Because little drummer boy could rip that head off. Complete control is lifting little drummer boy. I will say that. Little drummer boy nearly incapacitated there. If he didn't have a giant spinning drum, he would have been. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, what is complete control done? Oh. We did not expect to see that. Little drummer boy stuck on its side and it can't get back up. Oh my goodness. Wow. I did not think that would happen. So basically, Little Drummer Boy was dominating that entire fight. Then, at the end, trying to self-right, Complete Control flips him at the same time that he did a wheelie. He did another wheelie. It had so much force that it put him on his side, and he could not get back up. Wow. That was a pretty bad loss for Little drummer boy oh man that must have hurt anyway let's get to the last fight of the night this really won't do much to the scorecards but this is a little fun thing before the finale episode here we go guys this bonus fight will determine the fifth and sixth place the winner gets fifth place and doesn't exactly lose every fight of the season and the loser gets sixth place and has the distinction of losing three fights in a row. It's Zion versus Deathblow to decide fifth and sixth place. Here, now. Zion has this two flipper kind of setup, which I really like. It's an interesting design. 
And while well, Death Blow is already flipped up, that's not good for Death Blow. Zion trying to trying to get Death Blow into the screws. I think they got a little too confident. Screws don't do much, sadly. I kind of wish that they would make them do something, but whatever. Oh, oh, and he's grabbed him. Oh, and he's so flexing him. That's something that only a complete control could do. That's something we thought only complete control could do. Another flip. And another. And then a flip. I am a big fan right now of what Zion is doing. Death Blow, though, still does have a chance to even out the scorecard in this last minute and a half. He's trying to hit. Oh, and he's gotten a couple hits. He's getting a couple things done. Zion doesn't quite have the power to flip a robot out of the arena, I'll say. He's still powerful. Ramming him. Death Blow falls over a lot. We know that. Oh. Zion flips Death Blow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm pushing him straight into the wall. Okay, it's 40 seconds left. We don't have a lot more of this fight. Oh, Zion keeping Deathblow in the corner. Good job by Zion. That flipper. That powerful flipper. Oh, and another flip. 15 seconds left and what has been a very one-sided match oh zion let death blow free even though he was stuck that may have costed zion the match and that's time i don't even really need to think about it the winner is zion anyway though guys that is going to be the end of the video after a very one-sided fight, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that. I don't really care, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, and have a great day.